Elon Musk has been stepping up his warnings about the potential existential threat of artificial intelligence to humanity. And if you don't know why, then stick around as we discuss that in today's video. Welcome to MyUverse, the space where all things tech get the spotlight. If you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for your dose of tech trend news, Tesla reviews, and other insights into the tech world. The reason for Musk's warnings? Well, let's first start off with a few terms. Artificial intelligence or AI is when a machine is programmed to carry out a task that a human would be able to do. On the other hand, artificial general intelligence or AGI is when a robot is capable of understanding intellectual tasks at the same level that a human can. These are typically what we would see in Hollywood flicks such as The Terminator. Now, the vast majority of AIs today operate in highly specialized domains. And while artificial intelligence just isn't close to being half as smart as humans yet, there have been some developments in machine learning that tell us that this development is actually closer than we think. And this is precisely why some of the smartest people on the planet, like Elon Musk and the late Stephen Hawking, have labeled AI as one of the greatest existential threats to the human race. At the present day, artificial neural networks that mimic the way that the human brain works is considered to be one of the biggest advancements in AI. For instance, Elon Musk's neural interface technology company, Neuralink. However, defining intelligence isn't all that simple. And if we want to find out how close artificial general intelligence will be to reality, we're going to have to examine how each form of intelligence works with humans. So where exactly are we in the realm of AGI specifically? Does this type of machine or algorithm already exist? And if it does, how far along are we? Theoretically speaking, anything that you can imagine can also be done by AI. Practically speaking, however, that type of technology does not exist yet. You see, artificial intelligence is limited by the computational capabilities of classical computers. To create AGI, we would need a massive amount of processing power and it's quantum computing that can provide that computation boost enabling it to tackle more complex problems in AGI. Because of how rapidly technology has been advancing, even if we don't have AGI today, experts say that it may not be too far off in the future anymore. In fact, scientists are predicting that we will see the first rough version of artificial general intelligence by 2030, just a couple of years from today. While AGI that's capable of passing a consciousness test or something around the level that would pass as a human's would be ready around 2060. When this happens, the world would change forever. And whether you like it or not, once that line is crossed, there would be no turning back. On several occasions, Musk has called AI technology a big risk that can't be controlled. And he once went so far as to say that it would be a summoning of the demon. In 2014, Musk also invested in artificial intelligence company Vicarious, which he explained was a move to keep an eye on what's going on with artificial intelligence. His comments and actions have most definitely highlighted a budding ethical debate about whether machines should be given the autonomy to think for themselves. It's quite a hot topic in engineering circles and likewise occupies a prominent place in pop culture. Its proponents claim that AI is the next logical step in a tech-dependent world such as ours, but opponents do argue that unintended consequences would be unavoidable. When Musk was asked if the type of AI that he considered to be a threat were the ones that weren't just intelligent but had intention, he replied that for his companies, they were aiming for utility function in the program, but it would not be likely to encounter some unintended consequences. 
he further stated that the greater risk would come not from artificial intelligence acquiring a will of its own, but rather from following the desires of people who establish its utility function. It's quite possible that optimization, even if it's benign, even if it's well thought of, could lead to quite a negative effect. Have today makes life convenient and so much more comfortable. A smart home with a coffee maker that switches on every morning is wonderful. Self-driving cars that help us maintain greater road safety is definitely a milestone. All these applications, however, are still AI in its most primitive stages. However great the opportunity for humanity AI holds, it isn't far-fetched to say that it could eventually outpace us. Late physicist Stephen Hawking also said, Whereas the short-term impact of AI depends on who controls it, the long-term impact depends on whether it can be controlled at all. Hawking also warned that it will be either the best thing that's ever happened to us or the worst thing. And if we're not careful, it may very well be the last thing. With these ominous warnings from respected individuals, it is imperative that we make sure that the advent of a digital superintelligence will exist in symbiosis with humanity. And it truly is a most pressing existential crisis today. Our ability to comprehend the concerns faced by Musk, Hawking, and countless others requires deconstructing popular cultural depictions of AI. It's true that artificial intelligence is not a new concept. Computers have been making decisions based on inputs and conditions for quite some time now. Today's AI technology that we've come to know and have gotten used to can be described as artificial functional intelligence. These programs have designated tasks to perform and they're able to do so, sometimes even more effectively than humans can. In fact, an artificial technology developed by DeepMind in 2019 is able to play the real-time strategy video game StarCraft II and defeat 99.8% of all its warm-blooded human opponents, which some thought wouldn't ever be possible. Therefore, should we be concerned about AI just like Musk is and Hawking was before his demise? Back in 2014, Musk said, I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some regulatory oversight, maybe at the national and international level, just to make sure that we don't do something very foolish. Arguably, the greatest worry is that the machines may become better at making decisions than humans. Enslaving humanity to automated decision makers and whoever controls them. In its most primitive form, AI is already influencing so many of our daily choices through platforms like Google, Facebook, and even Amazon. Algorithms determine the content that we see online and make logical recommendations about everything from what we have for dinner or where we should go next on holiday. What makes this scenario so dangerous is that the technology that's being created today could be something that we become enslaved to in the future. A human civilization has advanced greatly because of technology. But that same progress has also come with a hefty price tag. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more Tesla and tech updates on this space.